Uh, well, to talk more about this, I'm joined now by Nazreen Parvaz. She was arrested in Iran, then tortured and sentenced to death for her work on women's rights and eventually was able to find asylum here in the UK. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. First of all, do we really know what happened with Al Naz? It's clear. Um, she was taken to uh, the Iranian embassy in Seoul and her passport and mobile was confiscated and uh, she was reported missing because she couldn't answer her phone and her family were worried about her. Her brother was arrested in Iran. Uh, then uh, a post was made on her Instagram which claimed that her headscarf fell, fell off by accident and she was sorry. And what you um, just thought, she was saying something similar, but not exactly this, but uh, I mean, she, the post uh, was on her um, Instagram. The thing is, uh, the regime threatened her, I'm sure. Uh, it shows that uh, she has been threatened by the regime and forced to say the things that she is saying. Um, yeah, I, I mean, this kind of, uh, it's a kind of repent, but um, people understand it in Iran and they won't blame her because they know that um, she was threatened, perhaps. I don't know if her brother is released or not. I mean, in my time, uh, it was uh, much more severe mm. uh, because now there is a revolution uh, mm. in Iran. Uh, but at, but me, when I was arrested, we were tortured severely. And when they asked us to do the mm. repent on TV, mm. um, Prisoners who didn't accept it were tortured severely. For example, um, mm. after the initial torture I went through uh, for the um, recantation, which I didn't accept, I had uh, I received um, electric shock. Shock. Um, mm. I mean, but when this... I was arrested. I was just going to say, this is all happening in the background um, of the death of Massa Amini and the, the, the protests which continue. Uh, are, are you worried about al Naz's safety and the safety of other women in Iran? Uh, I am worried about the safety of uh, women and, uh, I mean, people, because now it's uh, not only women who are um, in the street. Uh, the main slogan is women, life, freedom. Um, but uh, now men and women are together <coughs> against the regime. And it's not only uh, about hijab. Now they want the regime to go. They, they, they want to um, topple the regime. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, thousands of uh, workers started uh, a strike and people are together against the regime. 